Hey everyone, I'm Jim with YouGetRipped.com and I wanted to make a video and talk about my nutrition plan I was using while I was doing the Insanity workout. Um, now about the calories and my nutrition plan. Um, well, let's start with, as you know, I use a tracker. So this is the tracker I use. I still use this today. Um, and let's talk, let's start with calories. My uh, body, my maintenance calories are about 2,200 calories. So what that means is if I don't really do anything and I consume 2,200 calories, I should stay about the same. So as you can see here, um, I've got anywhere from 1,650 to 1,800. So I try to stay between 16 and 1,800 calories. Now the reason for this is in general, that would give me uh, about a 500 calorie deficit a day. That's significant because 3,500 calories weighs a pound. So in a week's time, if I was short 500 calories a day, I will lose a pound. Now you go ahead and you throw insanity workout on top of that where you're burning 500 calories a day. So that would put you in a thousand calorie deficit a day. So now you're burning two pounds of fat each week. So for the nine week period of insanity, if you've seen my story, each week I lost two pounds till I lost 18 pounds for the nine weeks. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the nutrition breakdown here. Um, let's start with protein. Generally, I tried to stay pretty close to my body weight. At the time, I think starting out, I was uh, 178, ended up at 159.8. Um, so I tried to keep it within uh, that range of my body weight. Uh, calories, or I mean uh, carbohydrates, tended to fall right into that same category when I added everything up and it added up into my calorie intake. And then my fats are right here. Um, in general, I think if you look at these numbers, you're going to find that about 40% of my diet was protein, another 40% of my diet was carbs, and 20% of my diet was fats. Uh, when you um, take into consideration that each protein has four grams, or each, I'm sorry, each gram of protein has four calories, each gram of carbohydrate has four calories, and each gram of fat has nine calories. But don't neg neglect fat because uh, there's healthy fats that you need to have, and we talk about those. Um, so let's take a look at some of the foods that I was eating. Um, if you saw my healthy breakfast, now when we, when we go through these calories, um, um, categories here. This column is calories. This column is going to be carbs, fats, and proteins. So as we go down, that'll disappear on us. Um, so in the morning, I have my, um, I think I put on our page, my breakfast that I have, my oatmeal, uh, my turkey bacon, my spinach egg thing that I like to make. Back then, I was having some yogurt and uh, so for breakfast, you know, about 400 calories. I was having a, a good portion of my carbs in the morning, uh, one of my higher carb meals in the morning. Um, and then you can see the breakdown of everything else. The next meal I had was my Shakeology, which I have listed right here, where I have my banana that I put in there and uh, the PB peanut butter uh, that I've been using. Um, you can see that that's pretty low on calories for two tablespoons versus regular peanut butter. And um, I was using silk. I could have used water, but I wanted uh, I wanted that little bit of flavor in there, and and then the calories after I was drinking this after my workout. So um, I wanted those calories at that point in time, and then my Shakeology. So again, my carbs were a little high. That was more in the morning. Um, and then I think my next meal was lunch, um, and here's where I get some chicken, and um, I had a salad. So I've got. I got my vegetables in there. I've got uh, some pear, so I've got a fruit. I've got some more fats, oils that are good fats for you that you got to have right there. 
And you can see my carbohydrates are starting to dive down. I've, I've got some more proteins in there. You want to make sure you've got your proteins. Um, and then for dinner, I took a multivitamin and I had some brown rice for some of my carbs, um, broccoli. And then don't forget you're getting carbs in your, your vegetables and your fruits too. Um, but I uh, had um, brown rice here. Um, I was uh, just taking some extra um, fiber. Uh, I got my chicken that I had for dinner and some broccoli. And then at night, I didn't have that category listed before, but this is what I had at night. I had 12 almonds. Again, some more good fats for you. Uh, I had a, uh, a whey protein, and um, I had some uh, some fruit, vegetables. Probably a better choice in that in that um, slot at night. Um, but again, I, I stayed within my calories. Uh, I stayed within what I wanted to do with my uh, macronutrients. So I made progress and, and you can too. If you have any questions about this video, I'll go ahead and post them below. Hope uh, this helps out. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Now you get ripped.